Oh my god, so this is like the third time I've got to record this fucking video because I'm trying to do the story time, but I keep saying real freaking names. So, we're going to try this one more time. Don't mind the crazy hair. Don't mind the cigarettes. I'm trying to quit. Um, I actually quit and started again last week. I quit for a year. Well, almost a year. It would have been a year in August. On my birthday. My birthday is August 10th. I quit last year on my birthday. Stupid, right? I feel like if I did it once, I could do it again. And I, I, I almost hit a year. I was so close. So, it takes time. And people fucking with me, you know? And it's... I'm like, okay. Smoke something or murder something. You know? Smoke something or murder something. Someone. You, you know, some people. You know? So, I'm going to leave it off. But, yeah. <clears throat> it's story time. Woo! This is my very first story time. Guys. Like I said, I keep fucking up and renaming real names. And even though I don't give a damn if they see it, I don't even want to try to. Even though I could be like, I could, it's a million motherfuckers with that name in the world. But anyway. <clears throat> so, um, this is one of the dumbest I've ever been in a relationship. Don't laugh. If you ever felt like this, run. Run. Fast. So. In 2015, the beginning of 2015, my baby daddy had just bought me, a, me and my, our daughter, a studio apartment. He paid it up for a year for me until I got on my feet, which, thank you, baby daddy. Um, so, you know, we were separated. Me and him weren't together at all. And so he was dating him, his women, and I was dating. And I was having horrible, horrible dating experience. And that happens. You know, it definitely happens. And so I decided that, um, so it was it's this guy, and we're going to call him Malcolm. It's this guy, Malcolm, and he hit me up, and he was not my type. Um, he wasn't ugly. He just wasn't my type, which is fine. You know, everybody has a type. But I figured since I was having such shitty-ass relationship experience, it was time to switch it up and try something new. So we started dating. I didn't like him. He was very opinionated, which is not a problem. But it was rude. And he stayed criticizing when his shit was not together at all. You know, at all. Like, you don't throw stones. And, you know, um, at one I'm not even going to jump. I'm not going to jump the story. Let's listen. So I met him. I didn't like him. At the time, I was smoking cigarettes. That's why I said that. At the time, I was smoking cigarettes, and he wanted me to quit. And he said some ignorant shit that pissed me off. So, I ended it with him. He kept trying. He kept trying. Um, we ended up having sex. So, I didn't want to be with him anymore. It was attitude, and then the sex was... Uh, and he had the equipment, and that's all I'm going, oh my God. I've never, never, I mean, no, I've never seen anything like that. That, that was an uh, abomination. Somebody needs to arrest him for that weapon he has in his pants. And he was like real nerdy, so you would not expect him to whip out this ground beef. Miro, like, seriously, the big one, the, the expensive one. We gotta stop right there. So, um, you know, I didn't like it. And so I stopped talking to him and he chased me for years after that. Literally. I ended up running into him one time at a Greyhound station before I got my car from Chicago coming back home to Indiana. And he was talking to my daughter and my daughter was talking to him. Hi. Hi, Malcolm. Hi. And he, hey, sweetie. And he pulled that, I want to come with y'all. Do you want me to come with y'all? And she's like, yeah, mommy, I want him. No, I nip that shit in the bud. You're not going to use my child to get to my house. Hell fucking no. Excuse me. Bye. I hopped on that greyhound and didn't even wave bye. I wasn't even studying him. Like, I do not like people like that. Don't use kids to get your way, you know? So... I guess after he seen me, it lit up something or whatever, and so he hit me up more, and 
blah, blah, blah. And I feel for the okie dog. I'm like, okay, I need to try something different. Let me see if he changed. And he was still an asshole, but his um deliverance in the bedroom was much better. He, he, he's got some training or he took a class or he watched a video and wow so I fell into a relationship with him good D does that stay away from good D on a bad person seriously I can't stress that enough like Seriously, I think it's like the energy trend because they they stick their body in you. It just don't be careful, okay, y'all. Just be careful. So we get together. We're dating for a couple months. So let me see what happened first. So one day, so mind you, I'm in Indiana. I'm away. I'm like an hour, two hours away from Chicago. We just want to say it's right around. It. And so, I would come every weekend, take him to work, pick him up, and we will hang out. And he'll take me out, and we'll, you know, nothing made, just dating. You know, my daughter liked him. He had um, nieces that my, daughter's, my daughter liked, and it was perfect. His mom, I didn't really like his mom, but a respect thing. I did not fucking like her, and she's a fucking nut. And he told me horrible stories about her, like... We're going to leave that alone. So, one day I pick him up. Oh, no. I'm taking him to work. And he's like, stop. And my mom's job real quick so I can pick up some stuff she got to give me. So, he comes back. He has a tablet and some iPads and old phones, whatever. And I'm not thinking anything of it. And take him to work. After work, he's like, let's go to GameStop really quick. I want to find my iPad. And I'm like, why you want to find it? And he, I don't use it. Okay, cool. That's perfect. So, he go in and find it. And um, I didn't literally, like, thinking of it now pisses me off because I should have been so smart. Anyway, so we go in the pawn shop. He's trying to find it. He doesn't know the code. I'm like, why you don't know the code? He's like, well, my mom was using it. And, um, you know, my mom was using it because I don't use it. it. Makes sense. He's like, and I don't, I don't know the code. I'm like, okay call her and ask her stupid and he's she doesn't remember it and i'm like oh okay well let's go to the apple store i mean they can help you and they did they like the email address is on it does send the code to the email and verify and i'm like fucking duh so you know we do that he changed the password voila he sells the ipad now when he sell it he don't have an id and i don't think anything of it so i put my id I'm like, oh, okay, well, I got it. So I give him my ID, and he sells it. Remember that. Remember that shit, child. Time passes, time passes, nothing. He's taking me out. He, we get engaged. He gives me a ring. It's beautiful. It's cheap, but I'm like, it's the thought that counts, and he's working, and, you know, we're we're living life. So I'm, I'm like, it's the thought that counts. This is sweet. Of course, of course, of fucking course I said yes, like a dumb. I'm not liking the things he's saying, he's getting more irritating. Um, at one point, I took him to meet some of my family and he had the audacity to say that my child needed etiquette class because she was running around a park, guys. And I showed my black ass that day. I did. I was the... I was the ratchet black woman that day. I was. And I was so embarrassed because my aunt was there and I don't curse in front of my aunt. You know, I'm grown. I'll be 24 next month. But I still, I don't curse in front of my aunt. But he had pissed me the fuck off so bad that I didn't care who was around. My uncle was like, whoa. I like, I will kill you, bitch. Like, I lost my shit. Like, my, she's playing. She's a kid. Let her, she's fucking five. Let her fucking play. You know? I should have left him then, but I'm engaged, and you got to, you know, the hard things, but on top of that, the smart mouth and the shit, my first, first of all, you work at a job that don't even pay you $10 an hour, and I'm not judging, you get it how you live, but 
you're not better than anything. And just because your mom thinks she's better than somebody, she's living off of her ex You know, just take that in consideration. She got you thinking that you're so uppity and you guys don't have shit. You guys are fronting. You guys are, are fronting y'all move, you know? So, I was pissed, beyond pissed. I, I wanted to break up with him that day. I damn near left him at that park to find his damn way home. But I'm like, nah, I'm leaving him alone. He, he's, I'm sorry. And da, da, da. On top of that, guys, I have been, he had been posting me on his Snapchat and his Facebook and stuff. And women had been finding my page and sending me screenshots of him messaging them. At one point, he had sent a woman a picture of the ring that I was wearing at one point. Telling him, telling her that he wanted to marry her, and I should have left him then. But he's crying and apologizing, and I'm so in love and dick dumb, and I take him back, and he's telling them that he has a wife, leave him alone. You know, got me feeling myself stupid, fucking stupid. So, guys. So after the second woman hit me up, I break up with him, I cut it off. Now it's hard because he's calling me and texting me every day how he loves me. And then you have my daughter who's attached, like, I want to go to Malcolm's house. I want to see Malcolm. And it was hard. It sucks. When, like, dating with kids, that shit, you need to take a long time dating before they meet your kids. And that's why I messed up at. But me seeing him in public and shit kind of forced me to like let them meet it was take time y'all take out time so her wanting to see him and stuff it kind of made it easier to be dumb and go back really and i'm not blaming her but you know it 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 added to it so i go back and I'm like, I, I don't want to be with you. My daughter wants to see you. I'm going. I'm coming to see you. Say so you want to talk. I'm coming to see you. So you know, my daughter's running around. She's having a good time. He's trying to talk his way back into a relationship. And um, his mom comes in the house. No, his dad is side eyeing me. He's not saying anything. He's not talking to me like he usually does. And I'm like, whatever. Cause I broke up with your son. Whatever. It's not that at all. His mom, so I guess the dad called the mom like, so and so is here, Renee is here. So she calls Malcolm, like, let me uh, tell Renee I'm on my way home and I want to talk to her, so tell her I don't go anywhere. And I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. So I'm chilling. She get home, she sit at the table, she says, Malcolm said, you stole my iPad. Who you talking to? Who, who you talking to? Y'all, who the fuck she talking to? Because she wasn't talking to me. I'm, I, I almost, y'all, I almost needed a break. So I went so fast to look at that nigga. I said, I stole the iPad. Do you know Malcolm stood his tall, six foot five ass there and said, Yeah. Y'all, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Going down memory. Give me one motherfucker. Where's my light? <laughs> he said, Yeah. I turned around. I looked at her. I said, Call the police right now. Call the police and file a report because I can guarantee you he's on the camera at uh, Apple and GameStop selling that iPad. He told me that that was his iPad and that he didn't know the code because you was using it. I said, call the police. We're not even going to talk about this no more. Call the police. She said, so you lying, Malcolm? I'm going to say this a minute. He, yeah. You don't love her. How you love her? She come here every weekend to take you to and from the work, and you gonna lie on her? He, I do love her, and my dumbass. All I hear is I do love her, and I'm like, oh, he love. Me. Do you know I went downstairs and let this nigga do me back into submission for real? Dick, fucking dumb, a big ass goofy. 
So we back in the motions. I still am not letting him call me his woman or his fiance again. I'm done with that. But you know, dick too bomb. So we're talking and shit, and I tell him that he can, um, I'm sorry, I just got to call y'all. So I'm telling him, like, he can come stay at my house in uh, Indiana for, like, a weekend, and I'll bring him back Monday. He's like, okay, cool. So. It may be unwise to kill me. Me and his mom not seeing eye to eye because she expects me to clean the house after the whole fucking family. And I'm like, I'm only dating one man, but you got me fucked up. I'm cleaning after me, my man, and my child. These other niggas is grown. And so she had a problem with that, and I had a problem with her. The fuck do you mean? So, the day we leave, we pack, we leave. We pull off. The heifer calls him and say, you got to check this. You need to deposit it into the bank. And if you don't deposit it into the bank today, you better not come home. Oh, he can't stay with me, so we turned around. He said she was going to give me some gas money. We turned around and do it. He do it. He get the check. I'm where my gas money at. So, I guess he was like, let me go in and get it. She, he come back with a crunchy-ass $5 bills. Some crunchy-ass dollar bills. $5. And I'm like, Where's the rest of it? So I'm pissed, but I'm like, okay, I'm going to leave. I snap. So I guess she's standing at the door, and she see me snap. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Why I look like this? So she say, what? I pull off. I'm like, I'm not going to argue with no bitch. So I back out the driveway. She tapping on the car. Malcolm, Malcolm, don't you pull off. You just going to let her pull off? You just going to... He tapping me on the shoulder. <sighs> don't pull off. Just see, Just talk to her. I get out the car, what's up? She talking shit. I'm like, bitch, get the fuck out of my face. You know, we start arguing. I'm trying. I'm, I'm at this point, I don't like arguing. I'm ready to throw my fucking hands. I'm ready to fight this bitch. I don't give a fuck who she is. She talking slick, bitch. You gonna get hit in your shit. <laughs> Y'all like that rhyme? That's how I was feeling. So he grabs me. He holding me back. He not holding you back. I, this big nigga is holding me back, bitch, because if I can get away, I would. If I would have dragged you clean down your driveway. Do you know that I got back in this car, this bitch bent her ugly ass over and told me to kiss her ass? Sam. She told me to kiss her ass, y'all. I was going to kiss it with my car. I tried to hit her. I did. I tried to run that bitch over. If he didn't grab my fucking gear, she would have died. Okay? I tried to run that bitch over. I did. And the car almost hit her. He grabbed it good. He grabbed it fast the fucking enough. I Because... Now she crying. You gonna let her hit me? You gonna let she crazy? That bitch crazy. Get out the car. He like, I'm not getting out the car. So I pull off. We ain't got shit else talking about. I got into it with the brother. I done pulled a knife out on the brother. Like, walk up on my car and bitches on it. It's on. I'm finna stay out. Man, I'm not playing with y'all. I'm not finna play with y'all. You disrespectful, lunatic ass fucking family. No. So we pull off. I take him to the bank to do that. She calling his phone. She crazy. You with that crazy ass bitch. Da 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 da. Come home, you gonna leave with her, you gonna let her kill me and Oh yeah. He didn't he didn't let me kill you, bitch, because you would have been dead. I didn't try to hit you. I was going to hit you. I was going to run your ass over and you was gonna die. I was gonna smash you in between my car and your car. And you was gonna die. Alright, so you really should be thanking your fucking son. I mean, that's all I'm going to say. So, the I guess she's with the police, and she put the police on the phone. He's like, where are you? Are you? Is she willing to stay and wait? I, hell yeah, I'm willing to stay away. Because if that bitch didn't stop me, we would have never got into it. She initiated that shit, and I was just going to finish it with a funeral. So, the police come. I tell the story. Malcolm backing me up. The police, like, it was a mutual um, disagreement. Nobody's going to jail. She can file a report, but it ain't going to make it nowhere. And I'm like, okay, cool. And we hit the road, go to my house. Dumbest thing, I should have just dropped his ass out. As soon as we get to the house, he can't come home. They didn't, didn't they just didn't uh, disown him. And guess what? Now he home. And guess who house he at? Renee don't think. Renee do not think. <laughs> I'm so loyal and loving, I can't let him be homeless, especially since I just tried to kill his mom. So, here we are, stuck. 
he's in my house. I'm like, you can't live in my shit without a job. He gets a job immediately. He get not even a week later. He had a job. I will tell you, like three, four days, he had a job. Bam, he's giving me a hundred dollars every week. Bam, and you know I'm letting him save the rest of his check. Like I don't, I just, I didn't even want a hundred every week, but that's what he agrees to give me, and I accepted it. But I stack your money so you can get the fuck out. I don't want to be with you. I've had enough of you and your fucking nutty family. The bitch pulled a gun out on you. Your own mother pulled a gun out on you and put it to your head before. I don't want shit to do with child. Get your money. So he's talking to random bitches. And da -da -da -da. Now let me tell y'all. This is where the drama get. I've been talking for 20 minutes, so let me hurry the fuck up. This is where it get nasty. He's talking to multiple women. Two that I know of. While trying to get back with me. Living in my house. Not, not that I care. You do your thing. Get the fuck out of my house, though. Hurry up and get the fuck out of my house. You know, he wasn't my nigga, so I wasn't mad. We were sleeping in the same bed, but we wasn't having sex. Honest to God. We had sex one time, but I'm, I'm working up to that. So, how did this happen? He's at work, and he's texting me long love letters. And I'm like, but you're talking to two bitches. And they don't know about each other. So one day, he had went through my phone before, so he had opened the door to going through phones, because I, I don't go through phones. If it's meant for me to know, trust me, I'll find out. Bitches can't hold water. You cheat, they can't hold water. They're going to call or text me and find a way to get in touch with me. Bitches, karma is real. I don't have to look for it. It comes to me. So, you know, I wasn't worried about that. But since you opened the door and you went through my phone, I decided to go through his again. Go through his phone. I see him texting two bitches. He's planning to meet up with both of them during the weekend. And first of all, how are you going to get to the city? You don't have a car. You expect me to drive you to see these two bitches or you going to take a Greyhound? That don't, I don't care. So he's meet, planning to meet both of them during the weekend, but they don't know about each other. So what I do? Hmm. It was actually Friday, too. It was payday. So it was the day I got my $100. While he was asleep, I screenshotted both of them and sent them to each other. And as they calling me, I'm picking up the phone like he's sleep. You call him back later. And one of them, she getting rowdy with me. I just hung up on the bitch. I'm trying to help your dumb ass, you dumb hoe. Click. Like, he's living with me and talking to y'all. Dumb ass. The other one, bless her heart, she was, she was with the shit. She like, right along with me. Oh, for real? So, he take me. I take him to go get his cash his check and give me my money. He put the rest up in his pocket and get his lunch for work. He's sitting on my couch. When I tell y'all, he, he didn't say nothing. He, he found out what I did. He was crying to them. I went in that living room. I snapped on his ass. I said, you a dirty bitch. Why he was on the phone with that bitch? I said, you a dirty bitch. You talking to multiple females. Why you crying about getting back with me? You in my bed every night crying to get back with me. And da -da 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 -da. He, uh, he crying and shit. Being a bitch. That was like my breaking point. I was so ready for him to go. But do y'all know, he completely crossed the line. One of the bitches he was talking to, I knew she had a disease. I thought she was like dying and had cancer or something. Because he was like, he always make, like when he's with somebody I knew, because he used to do it with me, he'd be like, see, I, you know, he used to think that motherfuckers didn't want me because I had a kid. He's like, how many men you know talk to somebody with a, a kid? Baby, check my inbox. <laughs> check my my text messages. Check my social media. Motherfuckers don't give a fuck. Stepdaddy, stupid. And I, I my, actually, my baby don't need a stepdaddy. She has her daddy, and he does his job. But anyway, the fuck do you mean? So he used to try to do that mind control shit. So I heard him talking to her one time, like, how many men you know a mess with you knowing you hit, you know you sick. So I ain't think nothing of it. I'm not listening because I'm not fucking him. And he's he never met the woman. I, I'm listening to the conversation. I'm nosy. I, I'm listening to the conversation. He never met her. The whole time he met this bitch online. And do you know this heifer had AIDS? AIDS, y'all. Fucking AIDS. Really? And you're trying to get back with me? And my thing is he was trying to see her for the first time that weekend. So when I found that shit out, I grabbed the knife. 
I grabbed the knife and I'm like, I will kill you. You a dirty bitch. You was gonna fuck. You was gonna try to fuck all three of us. You was gonna try to fuck them. Then you was gonna try to come home and use me your way into some pussy. And I'm like, you was gonna fuck them bitches raw. You do not like condoms. You was gonna fuck that bitch raw. He cried. He was like, no, I'm not. And when I told, like, I broke it down to said, I know you. He was looking stupid like, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, you sorry. You a sorry mother. At that point, it was time for him to go. But I didn't want to put him out and him and I have nothing. Then you got the money coming in every week. That's $400 a month. It's like, okay. I'm not fucking him, so why are you so mad? So let it go. So I let it go. That's right, rookie. It's really me. Yeah, he what? just, he's really weeping and trying to get back now, with me and blah, blah, blah. I had a moment, lapse of judgment. We did it. And yeah, it wasn't all shit. Never did it again. Never did it again. I was done with him. I was talking to one of my exes, who I am very much in love with, but we are not meant to be together. He's, he's wonderful, he is. We just not meant to be together. And we were just, we were talking. When we talk about anything, we can talk about any and whatever. Because, you know, I like to play games. I'm a Call of Duty fanatic. Actually, let me show y'all something. I don't know. I don't want to show y'all my junky ass bed. Join the infantry, y'all. Set up for stretching my legs. So, you know, I'm a big ass Call of Duty fanatic. And um, we're just talking and caking. And Malcolm is in the room, but I, I don't give a fuck. You know, you're not my nigga. And you talk to multiple bitches. Go home somewhere else, out right. my face. <sighs> Thursday morning, I remember the day. Something said, go through his phone. Just, you don't mess with him no more, but go through his phone. He told you he was changed. See if he's still playing women or whatever. See if he's really changed. He sent a text to his mom saying, do you really want to hurt Renee? She's talking to this guy and he doesn't know that she's talking to other guys. Now she was, he was talking about T, which is the guy I was on the phone with my ex. Me and T were together. So why did T need to know who I was fucking with? I mean, he fucks with who he wants to fuck with, and I fuck with who I want to. The reason he was mad, because he heard me on the phone with my sister, Tabe. And I'm like, you know, you know, I guess who I talk to. She's like, who? I'm like, the nigga I'm so in love with. She's like, T? And I'm like, yes, bitch. You know, so we talk, and he didn't like that. So he texted her, like, and he doesn't know that she's talking to other people, and she's sending news. Yeah, you know, I'm the new queen. But, um... He was like, and I have the pictures. He was like, I have the screenshots. And I know the man. And you can send it to him and ruin her relationship. Do y'all believe a 26-year-old would say some shit like that to his mom? Do you know the bitch that I tried to kill told his ass no? Flat out no. She gained a little bit of respect. Still don't fuck with her. She crazy. She fucked all her kids up. That nigga scared of knives to this day. He's scared of weapons. But it's just it it that hurt me so bad that you're living in my house. You I could have left you home. I'm feeding you. I'm not making you pay me for food. You're paying me for for living there, but I'm feeding you. I, I'm not making you feel unwelcome. You know, I don't want you here, but I'm not making you feel unwelcome. You have a per, a place to lay your head, a place to wash your ass. I take you where you have to go. You got appointments, I take you. I take you to get your hair cut. I'm not paying for shit, but I'm taking you, you know, you know, and you don't have to walk nowhere. I take you to work every day. Took you to your interview. Really? And that's how you gonna do me because I'm moving on from your toxic ass relationship? Really? That's how me and I packed this shit while he was asleep. 
got the knife, woke him up, told him to get the rest of his shit and get in the car because you going home. He cried, but he seen my face and he seen that motherfucking knife and knew I was dead ass serious this time. And he got the fuck up and got the fuck out. I was nice enough to drop that bitch off on the corner of his house. So I drove two hours, dropped that bitch off right on the corner because I'm petty. I wasn't finna drop him off in front of his house. I'm petty. You gonna walk to your shit with all your bags looking sad. You gonna walk down that long ass sidewalk looking sad. And I pulled up, and I ain't seen him since. He messaged me. He was sending me videos, like music videos and shit. I blocked him. Blocked. Like, we don't have anything to talk about. That was one of, one of, like, the top. That's actually top worst relationships I've had. Like, you gonna message your mom? Try to expose me? Really? I mean, is that how we do things? Someone is helping you? I was too nice, too naive as fuck. Oh my God, y'all. If y'all ever in something shitty, like, get the fuck out. If a man still, well, he never stole from me, but if he's a thief and he's a, a composer, leave. Once you find that shit out, leave, babies. I'm so serious. It gets worse on top of worse. That man could have went to the city. Fuck that girl came to my house and fucked me that night and ruined my life and I would have never suspected it if I did not follow my thoughts you know think my conscience or 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 my God I don't know if I didn't follow my first man I would have we probably would have been having a whole nother sad ass story time for real y'all but that's that's sickening. Like, I'm, me saying it out loud is sickening. It, it is very sickening and it, it hurts because you can't help everybody. Sex is not everything, y'all. It feels good, really good, and then it connects you to your partner. It does. But it ain't everything. It, it ain't enough to base the relationship off of. But thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Um, yeah. Have a great evening.